Hello. Oh, well, uh, welcome. Come sit by the fire. We were just having story time, uh, as you could see with uh, all of my guests. Um, now, uh, on that note, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, right. We were talking about how I screwed up with the uh, <clears throat> with the last video, where I actually would have uh, bred all these. Unfortunately, in the process of converting it to uh, you know, be more YouTube friendly. Uh, I uh, I did a dum dum, and it either I did a dum dum or it just messed up and um, didn't really work out. So here we are. Uh, basically, the footage got corrupted, and I couldn't I could not for the life of me figure out how to fix it. So uh, that that's all gone. But the progress we made is not. So I'm just gonna TLDR you while we sit by the fire. Uh, long story short, we at, there's two moss shops that we cha we tamed in episode 11. I have bred, and I uh, have come to the conclusion since then. Okay, hold on, I need to be ready to. Yep, yep. Always got to be ready with the imprints. Um, not gonna imprint this one. TLDR: Hatch the Deinonychus eggs. Nugget now has her pack. Unfortunately, we can't really breed because we only have females. But that's fine. And we'll make something happen. Um, we bred the ma shops to no end. I explained the process of breeding and all that. Basically, you line them up next to each other. The hit enable mating. They lay eggs. You hatch eggs uh, by getting the right temperature. Variety of ways to do that. And then, kaboom. Um, yeah. And what I just did there... Oh, well, isn't that convenient. I think I have a piece of prime jerky handy. Why, yes, I do. But yeah, that's, that's, uh, as you can see, we're at 75 imprinting effectiveness on both of them, which is, which is lovely. Gonna need some names for these two lovely ladies here. Um, the Ma Shops, you can leave name suggestions if you want to. I'm honestly not even sure if they'll all survive what's going to happen. Because, in this episode, um... We're going to try and tame ourselves a Desmodus, and that's going to require them to, um... Yeah, oh, excuse me. Do do the thing. Do the thing? Uh, it, okay. So if you know the Bloodstalker from... Gen okay, I just said I wasn't going to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway, because baby Andrew Sarkis is derpily adorable. Look at him. Honestly, it really does look like a pig did the fusion dance with a wolf, and this is the end result, and it works. It really, really works. It's like, yeah, you can see that's what the adults look like. Um, as I mentioned it in the previous video that will never get shown, the original episode 12, I should say, it doesn't really matter whether I imprint them or not, because with the uh, Dino Storage V2 mod, I can check what the points are into each stat, so imprinting does not make a difference. I will know, regardless. So I can tell if it has the stats that I want it to have, even if the numbers don't quite match up due to imprinting. And honestly, it never hurts because you never know when you might need a backup. This is, we can love and be attached to these animals all we want to. This is Ark. Things die in Ark. Usually me. Now, with that out of the way, um, and everything almost fully grown up, the first item on the agenda before we go do the tame for the bat is, um, well, first I need more blood packs. And to get everything fully imprinted. Oh! Oh, my apologies. We did a couple of other things in the last video. We crafted up these um, sweet veggie cakes, and these are for o Ovis taming. Okay, is it not going to show me the helpful hints? No? Uh, okay, I guess not. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Toggle tooltips. Yeah, as you can see, we made seven of these. Uh, didn't quite have enough carrots to get eight, but that's fine. Uh, I'm probably going to dedicate a different episode to that, because what I've been finding with the last episode that, you know, the, the corrupted one, 
and even with episode 11, is that I've been trying to cram too much into uh, too little time. And I am not yet a great editor of videos. So me spending all of that time just doesn't really work. And the video ends up still being almost an hour long regardless. So I have decided that we're going to stick to uh, a few simple goals around the base. And um, then we're going to do our outdoorsy one. But one thing we absolutely must do is we must take our pack on the hunt before we go out. Like, that's a given. There, There's no getting around that fact. But, in order to, uh... Sorry about that. I was just looking for my... You know what? I'm just gonna move this down here. Wow, I need to organize my stuff. This is... This is horrendous. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep making these blood packs. And what's gonna happen is... If you've tamed the Bloodstalker before, you know how this works. You let it grab, you let this thing grab your creatures, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll munch on them a little bit. Maybe it'll put them down, maybe it'll kill them. Um, hopefully it won't kill them, because I would actually like to keep a couple of these moss shops around. <clears throat> Which reminds me. Yeah, so there are a couple of things that we need to do this episode before we head out. They shouldn't be long. But, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away. Like, you've seen me imprint on these. We know how that works. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away. And I'll bring us back when everything is grown up where it needs to be. And all that jazz. Alrighty. Oh. Oh, well. Uh. <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> Stupid ants. Fools! Okay. Well, we're back, and uh, right now we have a couple things we need uh, that I need to show off first before we can go bat hunting. First of which... Let's put the pack to work. Give them that, that cry right there, gives them their buff, and then... Hold on, we need to see if there's anything in their behavior I can change. Because I'm actually specifically looking for... Oh. Vanilla Dynon. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. Okay, I was actually looking to see if they... Okay. I was actually looking to see if we uh, had an option to uh, put on the pounce setting, but we do not. God, look at how quickly they just... They just, they're tearing it up. They are tearing it up. Okay, this is a, a higher level. This uh, might be a bit of a problem. Okay, so that didn't quite go to plan, but, uh, wow, I got a lot of meat off of that. But alright, yeah. Man, just the, the massacre of the pack. Okay, how are they looking? Oof. He got hurt a little bit. But yes, I, I will do a full video once we have like a, a larger pack of Deinonychus. I'll do a full pack, uh, a full pack, a full video dedicated specifically to them. That'll, that'll be a whole lot of fun. But I just wanted to test what this lovely trio can do. Like I said, name suggestions in the comment section um, for these two lovely ladies. I, we just got a trio of female Deinonychus and I think, and that's absolutely fantastic. Now, the next thing that I want to cover is this. So first we're going to put these away. Alrighty, man, we're back right at dusk, which is perfect, actually. <laughs> okay, I've made some prep... 
Oh, English words hard. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Whatever. I made some sleeping bags that are there in the inevitable event that I screw this up and die horribly. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to send that. If you start eating the blood... Okay, you don't eat that. Good, good, good. You can go harvest that body over there real quick. And then where we're going to go is what I have marked on the cave as, uh, uh the cave, marked on the cave, marked on the map as the dwarf cave. And now, as I understand it, you can find these, these bats, uh, on almost any, on almost any map, but, uh, yeah, not any map, my goodness, wow, my lines, okay, not lines, my, uh, yeah, I do not, if you couldn't tell, I definitely don't have a script. But uh, I, I try my best to plot out what I want to say in a video beforehand. Like what I want to talk about. It doesn't always work because arc is arc and things don't ever really go the way you expect them to go. Okay, we're going to fly. Guess who's back. Back again. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're at these coordinates if you're interested. This right here is what I have marked as the dwarf, ca the, the dwarf cave, dwarven cave, whatever. Now, I am fairly sure it has a proper name. I don't know it. I will look it up later. But hopefully here, if the, uh, if the, uh, tales are true, uh, we will find what we seek here. And if not, well, uh, then I'll have to go looking for it. <laughs> you know, definitely not how I would be happy spending my day, but, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, uh-oh. Okay, no, I added the blood packs. I'm gonna keep adding more to them, uh, even though that puts me in, da in, in danger. Uh, alright, what we need is this lovely lady. We'll see if she can even fit, and we'll see if Desmodus even appears in here. Um... What we're going to do here is I'm going to put sleeping bags right here. All right, with that out of the way. Hmm. Oh, one thing I do need to do is I need to set her to neutral. Because if by, if, uh, now, the, the beauty here is that I shouldn't be able to get dismounted while we're doing this. But I'll have to for part of it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, okay. And we have to load the cave. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, the chunk. Uh, oh, this is the portal cave. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you will not find them here. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering what this place was. Okay. Um, okay, well, uh, hey, we did make an interesting discovery. I was wondering where this place was. And this is the, like, terminal area where you can, like, do the... You can just go to any of the the re available realms just naturally. But yes, I, I do know of a couple of other places I can check for the bats, so I'm going to pick up my stuff and uh, cut away again. Alrighty, we're back yet again. Um, hopefully, okay, well, I'm just gonna stomp in the right direction then. Thank you, RG. Um, wow, I actually really like the colors on this RG. Uh, now that I look more closely at it. Uh, you know, I've only had her for a few episodes. It's not like I shouldn't have noticed that by now or anything. Derp. But anyway, as you can see, we are right there. Uh, is where I believe another cave entrance is. Or, like, deeper in, and that's where we will find the bats. Now, I want to point out something. I, I This is partially a blind playthrough, even though I played the modded version of this map. Uh, I haven't, I didn't really ever explore it fully, which is often a problem I have when playing Ark. I, I just kind of get so absorbed in what's going on that I forget to really, you know, play the game properly. Oh, okay, well, we have... 
Oh, that right there is an Arc Editions Dinosuchus. Don't want to mess with that. No, sir. Well, this cave is already going to be very interesting. Even getting into it is going to be very interesting. All right. Yeah, I have, like, fed this RG so much XP. It's kind of stupid. That, is a be that right there is a Paleo Arc Spino, by the way. And I gotta say, that, that, is, that is stunning. Look at the colors on that. I don't know, did they do something to the snout? It looks a little bit, like, more refined, actually. Looks a little bit closer to how it would have looked on the real animal. The real animal would have had a very narrow snout. Just, just FYI. Like, like, not like you see there or like in Jurassic Park. I believe it was Jurassic Park 3, yes? Oh, boy. This is where things get really scary. Okay, well, we've got bats. Making sure we don't have anything following us. Uh, we got bats, but what kind of bats do we have? We have Onik. Okay. Oh, what's that up there? Is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We got two of them up there. Um... I don't see any others, but that honestly is a kind of a meaningless statement. Um, okay, so here's the deal. We got a lot of Onik. Onik can give you rabies. I don't want rabies, so we're going to have to go and kill them all. Okay, we got a scorpion as well. Now, this is uh, just part of what I do when I play the game. I'm going to go ahead and survey the train very carefully before I proceed. Because, well, I know I'm probably going to die regardless of what I do. Like, the the effort to prevent that uh, as much as possible, or at least to be ready for when it happens, is, uh, is always a good thing. Now, the RG can absolutely hold its own in a fight. But, uh, yeah, if I get rabies, I don't have any med brews on me. I do have a lot of food, but no med brews, so I might be in deep trouble. And I certainly don't have the means to cure it. But, what I do have are six sleeping bags, which for some reason means that I can respawn a grand total of, uh, what is it? <clears throat> Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we jump in there, here's the coordinates. Point. Uh, we're going to do 68 and 37, and this is... Hexagon Cave because of all of, like, weird hexagonal rock formations. Is that a real thing in real life? I think it is, but, like... It, it just, like, I it, the mind boggles at the fact at whether or not it really is a thing. Now, I don't know if I can still get infected with rabies while I'm on the back of an Andrew Sarkis with a saddle. But we're about to, we're about to find out. Uh-oh. Okay, we got a scorpion. We, oh, and we got a snake. Okay, we got a lot of, we got some friends coming. I need to keep an eye on those, uh, on the, the level 50 and a level 60. I think these are the two that I saw from the cave entrance, actually, uh, just at this angle. Uh, all right. How do we want to do this? Oh, yeah, they coming. Lord, they coming. No, they're more interested in the in the in the in this guy than they are me. Are in
Now, part of the problem is you can't hardly tell which ones are actually, like, how close they are. Because you're not really taming them. At least I don't think so. Hmm. I guess we'll see in a moment. I do think they have to grab me. Like, I think that is actually a requirement. Please grab me, not the... Oh. Or, okay, you can grab that, too. You just dropping my stuff in the water? Wow, what's with the sound in this cave? Ah. Uh, okay, so I don't... This is a, a bit more of a waiting... Oh! No, I'm not going to attack you. Consume! Yes! There we go. I don't know what the effectiveness was on that, but... Whistling passive, because I want it to come to me. We'll have to see. Come on, buddy. Come get me. I don't want to shoot at it because I don't want to kill its taming effectiveness again. But, uh, you know, he'll come down when he's hungry. Hmm. Based on the level, I would say that one did not get a whole lot of taming effectiveness. Even though, I guess you should, you can also use Day Dawn. But I guess it grabbed me a little too quickly before it had had its fill. So, yeah, I'm just going to let him just go to town. <laughs> this is actually pretty neat. <laughs> I really like it. This is taming method. And hey, the Ma Shops all look like they're doing okay. I, against a higher level one... This would probably be a bad idea, but... And again, this is just a showcase of, of how to do this. Um, you can bring Daydon, you can bring whatever. Um, oh, okay, that's not good. We don't, I'm sorry, sir, we, we do not accept... Ow! And that right there is why you don't put away the dam. Okay, who are you going for? Theoretically, it should only really be interested in in the. Yeah, there we go. Okay, see, this one got a little bit more taming effectiveness out of it. I believe it. Uh, like, uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't. I really need to do the to get a magnifying glass, honestly. But yeah, that's basically the gist of how you do this. I need to double check to make sure none of my ma shops are stuck in the water. But yeah. There you go. That's that's taming in the Desmodus. Unfortunately, my dumbass forgot to make a saddle, so I guess oops. Oh ho 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 ho. Okay. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to pause the recording here, and we'll come back to get that 135. Oh, man. Oh, look at the colors on it, too. Is that black? Yes. Oh.
Alrighty, we are back, and this is going to be an interesting one because I genuinely, I do not know how this is going to go. Like, um, oh, well I know for sure how this is, sir. Yeah, there you go, that's, that's what you get. I gotta say, definitely an improve, the, the uh, Andrew Sark has definitely improved on her last performance where she nearly died, although admittedly that was to an alpha, so I can't really complain all that much uh how the moth shops look all right pretty good they're pretty good they're not doing too hot on food though but that's okay i'm gonna give myself some more blood packs while i'm thinking about it um let's top off at 20 because i don't know how many that uh the big one's gonna like that high level one will take oh, you've got me man i'm trying to get work done This is why you keep the Entrusarchus on standby. This thing, oh man, I'm really, I need to ride around on her more. And, and by the way, end goal, breed her with my with that male and get one with the absolute best stats because she has a really good weight. Okay, just randomly put on my ghillie boots, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough to do this yet. Uh, hmm. I guess we're going to find out. I probably, I imagine it has to work something like the Bloodstalker as well, where, um... Uh, once they, if they eat all the blood packs in your inventory, they will start damaging you. But yeah, it's great that we got a 135 right there, although I'm totally expecting more creatures to come my way. Yeah, just randomly spit out an egg there. Yes, I, I have everything set to passive specifically so I don't aggro, uh, so they don't start fighting back. Because if they do start fighting back, there's a very good chance the bats will not survive. Thankfully, when you're dealing with, uh, with, uh, moth shops, it really doesn't matter. Like, it just, they, they run away from everything. Oh, here they come. Oh god, darn it. Uh, well, ow. Guys, there you, there you go. I'm going right in. Pretty red-winged one. Oh uh, yeah, see, she does a lot more, this one does a lot more damage than the other ones do. And all I'm gonna do is just sit and wait. <laughs> just sit, let her, let it have its fun. Um, uh, all right, well, we're back. And as you can see, I kind of did a dumb. So unfortunately I may accidentally tame this thing before I mean to, but that's all right. Uh, it is what it is. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, she didn't get her max effectiveness, but that was taking so long anyway, it might as, might as well not even matter. Uh, we'll, we'll get one at max effectiveness. Don't you worry about that. But, yeah, this is... God, I love the look. Look at this thing. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Oops. Gonna just pause it real quick, because it's thumbnail time! Look at that wild-looking face. Man, oh man. But yeah, that is unfortunate that we didn't get max effectiveness. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see right here, uh, I oop, I made the slight tactical error of dismounting uh, off a ledge. 
So the Andrew Sarkis, uh, the grassy Andrew Sarkis here really couldn't help me. <laughs> I couldn't get back on. And of course the bat which was aggroed on me came and grabbed me. Yeah, that, oops. <laughs> oh well. Okay, well, just got a weird text message there. Um, oh, really? The taming was successful? I wouldn't have guessed. All right. I think uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to cut away and we're going to take these uh, this trio home. Alrighty, we're back just for a little bit longer here. Uh, this episode is getting on longer than I would like it to. But, um, so I've got these three, uh, three lovely ladies saddled up and ready to go. Um, now, the thing about bats, the, about Desmodus, I can hang upside down. Like, isn't that uh, so awesome? Oh, I can't third person? That's, that's ridiculous. Okay, now I can. God, that is that has to be one of the most disconcerting things ever. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Yeah. Now they have a variety of cool abilities. Um, but uh, okay, and one of them I just gave her my blood packs. I'll have to make more. But wait, no, I won't because these guys actually make blood packs, if I'm not mistaken. But how do they do that? Well, let me show you. Uh, okay, there's the other one. Okay, you two. You, you, you just get, yep, there you go. Oh, I'm still in K mode. Oops. <laughs> uh, I am going to level this one as it most likely won't be my permanent one. Because uh, I didn't get the perfect tame effectiveness. I really, really would like to do that. But, so you guys are great at a couple things. Uh... Well, they, they might be. Provided I can pick up the... Oh, my God. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, this one, even at um, the level that it's at, actually does a surprisingly good amount of damage. They're also very fast, and as you can see, very maneuverable. Look at that. Look at the speed. Look at that. And I can go up. And sort of like a griffin, you can kind of do a, a like a glide, a speed up glide, but. And I can harvest blood packs, meat, and spoil bee from things. So this is a really useful creature to have. But it does something even cooler than that. For every 200 blood packs, you will see, it will craft up a, um, a, a sanguine elixir. And, well, what does that do? Well, um. It, you can use it on a creature, and for some reason, feeding it, like, uh, magical blood potions causes it to like you. Long story short, it gives you an immediate 30% boost to its tame. Uh, ow! Okay, I, did you guys see that? That that gentleman definitely appeared from literally nowhere. Okay, we're up to 138. Okay, X and C, give that. Oh yeah, this and the Andrew Sarkis are dev- Oh, that cool, that's a cool level up animation. <laughs> are definitely gonna become my favorite creatures, I think. Okay. How do I activate my other abilities? Now that it's nighttime, I should be able to do that. Uh, hmm. Let's see. No. No.
Okay, this is, uh... I don't know how to use any of my special powers. I probably should have looked that up beforehand. Uh... Okay. Oh! Right-click in the air turns me invisible. But do I have anything else I can do? We're gonna check. One Google search later. Um... Turn on night vision. Oh, look at that. Turn on lifesteal? What? What? Lifesteal turned on. Okay. Alright. So I'm not quite sure what that means, but... Okay, it looks like this creature does, um... Reduce damage. So I like having a creature that allows me to see at night, even if everything's red. But yeah, we're definitely going to need some name suggestions for these things. Like this is... And every time I hit him, I gain blood packs. And the blood packs help restore my health a little bit, so... This is an Alpha Raptor, by the way. And the reason I know that... Uh, oh, wow, he hits pretty hard. Well, hard enough, I suppose. Now, his main advantage is that he has a lot more health than I do. My advantage is that I is that I regenerate and he doesn't. I just, <laughs> I just kicked him in the face. That's pretty great. Just gonna let my stam regenerate. Yeah, you can see my health is restoring pretty fast. Now, I don't even, I can't even hazard a guess as to what state that raptor is in right now, but I'd imagine not too good. Oh, wow, I just immediately shot back up to full health. All right, let's go. I, uh, how did that work? This is definitely a great way to end off this video, is just... The owl, I, I mean, this might be the alpha that almost killed me before. Let's see. Is it? Yes, it is, and victory is mine! And on that note... And on that note, we are going to call it a video. Turn off my vision. There we go. All right. I, will, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.